Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just want to let you know that uh, Streamlabs OBS now is on the Mac. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's get to it. But since I came into the game, I've been going harder in the pain. What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Crate TV. So in today's video, we're going to talk about oh, how that Streamlabs OBS now is on Mac. So if you use a Mac, uh, Mac, somebody like me, if you like to stream on the Mac, play video games on the Mac, you know, you want to use your Mac and you own an HD, uh, an Elgato capture card, you know, because you can't plug it into the Mac, but if you don't, you like to play video games off your console and you do own an Elgato capture card, well, we're going to talk about that now. You can use uh, Streamlabs OBS if you don't want to use OBS Studio. Just before we do that, you know, you will have to download four things. So if you do want to use Streamlabs, come on over here and I will show you what the steps that you have to do to get Streamlabs working on your Mac and show you how you get everything set up let's get to it now you go if you own a mac you know make sure if you want to download all this stuff make sure you have a um a, a processor that is quad core or higher me i have an eight core so i'm good i'm letting you know but you if you do like stream labs and you ever want to use it on pc but now if you own a mac and you want to know it want to edit that stuff like that for, especially for me for a person that likes to use mac and all the other stuff so now what you do is you go to streamlabsobs.com. It is on Mac. So go to streamlabs.com, download it. The download process is real easy. That's the first thing that you want to download. Now, if you own an Elgato capture card and everything else, there's two things you got to download from Elgato. So what you're going to do is go to elgato.com, go to their downloads. And what you'll need to download, you need to download the game capture for Mac and also the OBS link for Mac. This is only if you own an Elgato HD60S or Elgato HD60. Now, if you own the Elgato HD60S Plus, you don't need the OBS link for Mac, but you know, just it's okay to um, just try it out because I guess it works without plug and pl plug and play without it and even on elgato's website they do recommend that you have hd 60 s plus the newer one that just came out so that's what they recommend for mac but if you own an hd 60 or hd 60 s you do need the obs link for mac after you download those two things now you'll need the NDI source plugin, which all this stuff will be in the description box down below. I made it easier for you. Make sure you just come down here, come to this website, download the, the right one. Here's Windows. You download the one for Mac, download it, get it real uh, easy and installed. Now I'll show you about the new, how everything syncs up with Streamlabs OBS. So Streamlabs is basically like another better version than OBS. OBS has been there for a long time, but if you like to use Streamlabs, so with the Elgato Capture Service, this is the Elgato software software service. So I'm letting you know, they don't come with the sound capture on Mac. That's only on PC. I just want to show you that. But this is what the Elgato software looks like. And let me show you how Streamlabs works up with the Mac. You don't want, you can't run two softwares at the same time. So here's Streamlabs OBS. Yours won't look like mine, but this is mine. See, I'm already got my webcam and everything else set up. So we'll just disable that for right now. Okay, so this is Streamlabs. So this is how it will look for everything on the Mac. You get your basic layout. This is the default layout. Yours won't look like this. So when you download Streamlabs and you be like, okay, well, how'd you get the game to capture it? Pop up it on there. You know, I have an Elgato HD60S plugged in and you see everything's working in real time. So I have that plugged in. I have that working in real time. This is this video is not being sponsored at all. So the way you get that is yours won't say these down here in the corner scenes, all that I, I made them myself, but you know, the scenes right here, what you do is you, yours will just say scene. So you can have your scenes, your sources, and your mixer. So the way you add that stuff in, you're going to click on where it says sources, the plus sign right here, bam. So once you get to this screen, there, because normally on a, uh, on a PC, they will have game capture. That's how they capture their gameplay. But on a Mac, there's no way to do it. So, but remember that NDI source I told you, um, that plugin? That's one of the plugins that will help you download and be able to play uh, your capture card to the max. Everything, everything syncs up in real time. Notice how it says NDI source. That's what you will need. You will need the NDI source. You click on NDI, you click on add source. Me, I already have mine set up. Since it's already there, it will say add source. That's how you get, yours, yours won't say that. Yours just be blank, you click on it. It'll show you a little drop down menu. You click the drop down menu, click your Mac or your computer name, whatever it is, click add source. And then that's how you get it to pop up like that. Streamlabs OBS for Mac just came out, which is great. Me, I like stream. I, I love Streamlabs OBS. Um, I like it better than OBS Studio. So now you can, you know how you see 
pros you want to stream, you know, record some gameplay, get them overlays how pros get or other you big YouTube gamers get them with overlays and stuff. Now you can do that with Streamlabs, but some things in Streamlabs are free, but now since Streamlabs started the Prime thing, uh, you got to mostly pay for them. But me, I don't pay for nothing. I just make my own stuff. You can figure out how to make your own stuff and everything else. Uh, this is Streamlabs. I, I'll show you. So I added the, I added that. I added that. See, so so there's my webcam. I set it up right there. So, you know, you want to, uh, when you're playing games and everything, you can see everything playing on screen while you're playing on your main screen. So everything's all synced up. I got it all working out well. If you need any questions, anything, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer your question, what you need to know. So that being said, that's how you download Streamlabs OBS for Mac, the Elgato capture card. Make sure you check the description box for all the uh, links that for if you want to learn how to use Streamlabs or the you need the Elgato, what links you need and the NDI source because you do need the NDI source plugin just so you can get everything else synced up or you won't get no game picture, no game audio or nothing. But leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, subscribe if you want to see more videos, more video bangers are coming out. I do got something else coming up for you guys. So leave a like, let me know everything that you want to know with this. I would show you all this test, everything. This is just showing you just the basic part one, how you know download Streamlabs and everything that you need to run on Mac. For me, I like the uh, game on Mac and I like to play with Mac and use it on console. So, but that's what I figured out. So if you do like this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. And other than that, it's your boy Brandon coming to you from Crate TV. Leave a comment down below, anything else you want to know, and I'll bring you back some more. And I'm signing out of here. Peace.